fine weather we are having. Hey, you! Would you allow... My scan was terminated before concluding. Listen, buddy, you gotta leave. Coffee shops have Wi-Fi. Not for free. Listen, your porn will still be there. I've got a of trainer. You know what to do. Bye. By the way, I was applying for jobs, you ass. Oh, uh, uh, good luck? Hello, human. We lost him. I'm calling. This will be painless, I assure you. Insufficient data. I am now Miss Laura Kim. How do I get into Noodle Max? If you've got her ID, you should be able to just walk right in. Fine weather we are having. Map security don't fool around, so watch yourself. Hey, this is Lord Kim you're talking to.
Elevators. Ratio, do these go to the server room? Yes, but not for you. Facial recognition. Very advanced. Get to the maintenance access area instead. You know, like we planned. <laughs> all right, all right. Wait, what was that? and integrating the future is what Noodle is all about. We don't just... Something over there. What is happening? <laughs> nice. Got fire. Okay, tell me those weren't gunshots, and tell me they didn't come from you. Be on alert. Possible targets near your location.
again. Seriously, bro, take your time. No pressure. Keep it together, Ratio. I'm almost at the elevator shaft.
Hey, bro, I've gotten to the elevator. Horatio? He's gone dark. Hold on, we're trying to find him. Tara, it's a dead end. I need Horatio's code to get into the server farm. Any luck finding him? Got his GPS, but he's not responding. I'll patch you in now. The keystrokes on your computer is evidence enough to put you away. I just, I want to hear you say it. Yeah. No. Uh. What? The... How did... Who listens to this crap anyways? That's it. That's it. This place is a freaking circus. Side team morons better do something. You wired everything in the building to the same network down to the freaking toys. You think you can stop it all from going haywire? Yeah. Okay, and here's the hot tip. No, don't apologize. Just get it right in the first place. Yeah. You think? I know. Uh-huh. Really? Yeah. You think? Oh, Yasmin, hi. I We've know. Been... Horatio and Carla needs a very serious accusation that you've been making. I have prepared a secure room. Well, uh, the evidence speaks for itself. Mr. Carlin, I'm going to ask you to follow me. You're the man, Horatio. Hang in there. They got things wired up pretty tight here. Mm 
This is it. That's it. Noodle's data is now dead sex data. I'm out of here, but Horatio's still in the spot. Can one of y'all help a brother out? We have access to every workstation in Noodle, including Horatio's and this Brody guy. I'm almost done sorting it out. Well, let's see. All right, I'm done. Let's see how Horatio's doing. I'm sorry you chose not to cooperate with us. I would highly suggest you seek legal counsel. Yes. And you tracked the keystrokes? I see. Thank you. Mr. Carlin. I am so sorry. Apparently, we've made a, a huge mistake. I... What a surprise. My apologies. Yeah. You, you are free to go. I'm just glad you finally got it right. Whoa, 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 this is a mistake. I mean... Mr. Goodell, take a seat. I don't... Okay, I don't think Sit that... Sit down. Ratio, that was intense. You good? I'm better than good. Where you at? Meet me out front at the noodle bus. Hey, I'm in a massive cooling room. Any ideas on how I can get out of here? Yeah, I got you covered. There's a, a drainage conduit at the back that should take you into an exterior access. Nice, thanks. Swapped out Horatio's keystrokes with Goodale's? Nobody gives our Horatio a hard time and gets away with it. That's real crafty, Satara. I'll take that as a compliment. Yo, how's the transfer going? It's gold, Marcus. Gold! Bloom's definitely tapped into Noodle's pipeline. They've even given Noodle limited access to their content. I'm all for singing Kumbaya, but this shit's got Dushan written all over it. For Bloom and Noodle to be cooperating like this, it's a major find. But it scares the fuck out of me. Oh, come on, guys. Noodle ain't that bad. Hey, enjoy the dump, but save a beer for me, all right, Wrench? Right now, I've got some code to... Code. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate everything you did for me. For sure. But uh, right now, can you get the hell out of here? You're making people nervous. <laughs> oh, hey, did you try pomegranate? It was good, right? <laughs> you look like someone with a lot of valuable information.
Now, tell me everything you know about DedSec. Huh. Police are increasingly alarmed by the violent acts of the Tesco Street Gang. They have recently been linked to several East Bay killings, the violence of which has been described as extreme even for gangs, according to experts. The chief of police issued a warning that CTOS and law enforcement will protect San Francisco from criminal organizations by the full extent of the law. Shit, what the fuck? Uh, hello? Sitar, Josh? Please tell me this is not what. I think it is. Have server get hacked? Might want to get back here when you can. How goes it? Best stuff in town, guaranteed. Nothing for you? Don't do it! Never, ever call me that again. Yeah, yeah. I'll get your designer briefs in a twist. If I'm Marky Mark, from now on I'm calling you the Funky Bunch. Hey, whatever floats your boat, man. You need to hurry your ass up and meet me. Rooftop. Hey, your niece has quite the audience count. A mix of pervs and airheaded teens, I'm sure. They could all use a lesson in internet safety. Don't worry, we'll give your niece a little scare. Hey guys, it's Cindy, AKA DanceFoo01, and this one goes out to John Boy 415 Oh, Jimmy! Stay out of my room, Jimmy!
Like I'm going to your stupid room. Uh, whatever, this is your crap music. This is what real music sounds like, loser. What? I think we did our job. Thanks, man. Cindy and I are gonna have a long talk later today. In the meantime, I'll put together a package to help kids be more secure online. They'll use it if it's from DeadSec. DeadSec's cool, right? I hope so. Victorious! Hackers flagging terrorists for the FBI? It seems that's the Bureau's plan. With cyber attacks on the rise and the CTOS integrated into every aspect of how our city functions, the FBI has taken extreme measures to protect that technology. A congressional report reveals that the FBI is pushing for expanded powers to pressure hacker groups for specific techniques. The FBI also wants to be able to identify and flag hackers and hacker groups even if there is no evidence they've committed any crime. Freedom of information advocates say this is an unprecedented request that threatens civil liberties. Oh, fuck your dog. And your dog. Oh, French, where you at, man? Yo, you're late, Marky Mark. As much as I enjoy our banter and <clears throat> underlying sexual tension, I'm hurt. I thought we moved on to overt sexual tension. Marcus, there's something I want to show you. On my laptop, dude. Oh, where you? Did, did, did you? <laughs> Pull up chair. And prepare yourself for the breathtaking, spine tingling, and almost entirely mind numbing noodle keynote. Cue it up.
You all told us, hey, self-driving cars sound pretty cool. <laughs> but we have always prided ourselves in delivering the best. What do you think of a car that knows you, knows who you are? The kind this, of security that awesome. biometrics yeah. can give you. Your key is you. Then in the morning, you want time to read the news and drink your coffee while it safely drives you to work. It will remember your preferences and save them right into your biometric profile. For those who opt into the CTOS insurance programs, you get good driver discount automatically and access to fast transit lanes. Sounds too good to be true? It's not. Because at Noodle, we don't wait for the future. We build it. Huh. So they want to add biometric data on top of those CTOS monitoring systems? Yep. Because that couldn't possibly go wrong, right? I mean, we all know how altruistic CTOS is, right? Oh, and insurance companies. And how they would never, ever use our biometric data for their own nefarious purposes, right? Yeah, milk of human kindness and all that shit. There is something wrong in the state of Denmark. Maybe, uh, some daring vigilantes should check it out. Maybe, perhaps steal a cool car while we're at it? Because, you know, auto theft's always fun. Amen. Yo, Marcus. Satara, what you got for me? Well, it's a good thing you like driving. Looks like the lead engineer on the biometric car project is a loyal customer of Driver SF. Is that right? Sure is. And I just may have set up a script to reroute his ride requests to you first. Slick. Only the best for DeadSec. Check the Driver SF app on your phone when you're ready. I'm gonna need to convince him to take us to his office, right? Yes, but we've already got a plan. That we do. <laughs> Ray, you in on this one? Well, it's like Ranch says, car theft is always fun. The plan is that we hack this guy's phone. Right. We set off the alerts on his phone, saying his computer at work is getting hacked. Which makes him freak out and race into work. But we won't actually hack his computer because we don't really need to. Exactly. We just need him to think it's been hacked. I like it. Well, all you gotta do is distract him so we can hack into his phone. I'm taking you, man. Hot date tonight? My girlfriend just broke up with me. How am I gonna get this guy talking? What was that? I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Just a little nervous, that's all. This is the first ride I've done in a while. Yeah, had a bad experience, you know, and took a break. Yeah, I can imagine you'd see all sorts of shit driving people around. 
What happened? Oh, hell yeah. All sorts of shit. Last one was a bunch of drunk guys. Mm hmm All yelling and hollering at each other about some, some sort of art car they were working on. Oh, for that uh, desert festival? Yeah. So the two of them are yelling about LEDs and animatronics and sand and yeah, what kind of drugs people should be on to view their art car. Seriously? They talked about what drugs people would be on? To tailor the experience for the right kind of hallucinations or something? Yeah, exactly that. Then one guy, he punches the other guy right in the mouth. What? So there's blood going everywhere. Meanwhile, the guy who threw the punch is whimpering that he broke his knuckles. Shit. I know, right? So I end up driving them to the nearest emergency room and get this. Yeah? They both try to hug me when I drop them off. Wow. Oh, uh, sorry. My alarm just went off. Have to check this. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We gotta change direction, buddy. I'm sorry, but I need to get to work. No problem. Updated the destination in the app. I got it. No worries. We'll get you there. Shit! Somebody's breached security. Fuck! But one time I'm not in the office. Uh, yeah, that's, that's how it always happens. Can't believe this is happening now. We have deadlines. Massive deadlines. And man, that sucks. I hate this project! Why did I ever say I'd be lead? Uh, can you go any faster? I'll try. Shh, be careful! Shit! Holy crap! Could you speed up? I'm trying it. I'm in a real hurry. I'm okay with you speeding faster, please. Almost there. You're a lifesaver, man. I am totally giving you a five-star review on the app. No problem. It's my job, after all. You're the best. And here we are at Coda Print. Okay then. What? Whoa. Here we go. Time to get to work. I had faith in you, Marcus. It's not like the rest of us did. Yeah, I have lots of faith in Marcus. I have faith in Marcus. Wow, guys, you all just made my day. It just means so much to me to hear you say that. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't trying to imply anything. I'm surrounded by clowns. But you love us. Well... Maybe Josh and Marcus. Ouch! That's okay. It's a bit early in our relationship to be throwing words like love around. Take your time. I appreciate Emmanuel's patience. Oh, well, well, this very patient man has work to do.
It's 1029. We have information on a known criminal. Relaying the CTOS coordinates now. Everything is in order. Give me a break. Bleep, beep, bloop. Status all clear. Hey okay, seriously. What happened? All yeah. systems functioning normal. Oh, hey! All clear. Uh, Greetings, fellow security personnel. Oh, come on. What was that? All systems functioning normal. Everything uh, is in order. Fellow security personnel. <laughs> I am conducting routine duties. My sectors are completely optimal. Hello. Status all clear. Oh, hey. Everything is in order. Found it, guys. Great. This should contain all the security specs and info we need. Soon, we will be proud joyriders in the noodle car. Mm. All clear readings, fellow security personnel.
So, Josh found something interesting in the car's algorithms. Yes. There's a decision-making algorithm. They call it a life score. They fucking call it a life score? A what? It's a method for deciding which lives to prioritize in case of an accident. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna like this one. The car's onboard computer has direct access to Bloom's databases. It pulls up a score according to metrics Bloom sets. Employment, income, education, race, gender. Fuck. Let me guess. Me and Ray get into an accident, one of us on either side. I'm SOL because I'm a young black dude. Not quite. As you know, I'm persona non grata with Bloom. My life score is pretty damn low, so in that case, I'm SOL. But otherwise, yeah, you got the gist. Looks like we need a voice print and a retinal scan from that noodle VP who gave the keynote to unlock the car. Right. I'll get on it. Sending you his address now. Somebody checked in faulty code again. Damn it. Yeah, yeah, I saw. I'm coming in. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Got it. Excellent. 
And, well, you have fun gazing into his pretty brown eyes? Yeah, no. But thanks for playing that thought, Ray. <sighs> Marcus has way better taste than that. Woo! Nice pad this guy has. He should. He's a priority one, after all. How could I forget? This dude's house has the works. Smart TV, smart toilet, smart sink, smart carpeting, smart throw pillows, smart... everything. One of those is bound to have his voice print on it. I'm guessing he's the kind of guy who wants to constantly record his own brilliance. <laughs>
grass-fed raw milk goes back two days earlier than Mark. All right, guys. I have his voice print, his retinal scan, and far too much information about his life. All that's left is to steal the car. Which means breaking into WKZ, where they're going to be storing it in preparation for Noodle's big fancy reveal. Ah, WKZ. Fine purveyors of BS. And their infomercial about the Noodle car is going to get turned into a lovely expose of how they devalue human life. What's up? Time to steal a car, my friend. They have it on one of their sound stages at WKZ. All shiny and waiting for us. Sounds like fun. I've always wanted to break into a TV station. Since this is such a golden opportunity, boys, we should take advantage of it and plant some information gathering devices at WKZ. <laughs> I like it. Keep an ear out. Exactly. I'm thinking some actual surveillance equipment and some software. I'll meet you near WKZ with all the gear. Sounds good. See you soon. Yo, wrench. Score! Check these out. I bet they use these during their undercover sting operations. Now, any trouble with the van? Nope. But WKZ hired humanized Zulu as extra security after all these bomb threats uh, they received. May I? Tell me, how long have you been a kitty fondler? Hey, man, you know that ain't right. Now, when you first saw the X-ray, did you recognize the action figure wedged inside your rectum? Yeah, it was my wrench figure. Figured that was the perfect hiding spot for him. Wrench, did you give Marcus the USB? Yep, way ahead of you. I uh, was just telling him to jam that puppy into one of WKZ's computers. And I'll take it from there. By the way, if they ever do make a wrench action figure, they better glue the mask on so it doesn't traumatize children. You say that like it's a bad thing. Right, so plant Mike, put some spyware in the system, and steal a cool car using the biometric data we got from the Noodle V. I miss anything? A few other things, but don't worry. I got it covered. What the hell? Hey! Watch where you're going!
Hashtag thug life. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I would outlaw this so fast. Planet. Do it.
of these pinches hackers. Open car. You like magic? <laughs> ka -ching. Shit, man, the car isn't responding. Hi, who, what now? Wrench. Hit in the game? I'm trying to turn the wheel and nothing is happening. How the hell am I supposed to drive the damn car? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it might be voice control. Just talk to it. Talk to it? You gotta be joking. No, just talk to it. Uh, drive car. Seriously? Exit the building. Closest exit point. Driving. Shit, not through the window! Uh, I was a much better car voice. You were totally a fake car voice, but yeah, you, you were better. Oh, Jesus, turn, turn! <laughs> <laughs>